All right. Um, as we've seen in the description of the of the job, there was something about parallelism. So it would be interesting to see what what this actually means. The first uh, thing we'll look at is um, the completion count. Before we look into parallelism, we are looking into uh, having something done several times. Um, so let's create uh, a job with two simple job completions. So all we do differently than in the other examples, uh, we change the completions to two. So let's get rid of the existing jobs first. And then QCuddle apply our, our job and also observe it. So you can see in this case two pods have been created. Um, you can also see in the timeline that they have been created in, uh, sequentially. Um, which basically means that whatever we want to be done, it has been done two times. So obviously if you want to do something like repeatedly in the sense of like several iterations, uh, then just change the number of completions and you'll get it done. All right, parallel job execution. Um, we will create um, another job, also one with two completions, but in this case we would like to uh, see this happening simultaneously. Let's delete the old job first. And now you can see that uh, the two containers have the same age, which somehow suggests that they have been created simultaneously. So if the job execution needs to happen in sequence, you can increase the number of completions, but uh, keep the default of parallelism Z to one, or you set it explicitly to one. Um, and then you'll get um, a repetition an iterative execution of the pod several times um, in sequence. If uh, parallelism isn't a problem, because for example you're not polling against uh, a, a backend service that that doesn't really want to be ex you know uh, requested in parallel, then you can use parallelism one. If you if you have an a resource that doesn't care, well, go for parallel execution as it's obviously faster if things are done in parallel. Uh, obviously, it also requires more cluster resources. So if you run things in sequence, then uh, there's only the one pod being executed um, at a time, which means only the resources of one pod will be used at a time, whereas parallelism means that you will occupy the resources of the pod multiplied by the number of, of pods you execute simultaneously. So for example, if you run on a, on a, on a Kubernetes cluster that has a, a certain defined size, a certain number of nodes, and suddenly all, all users start parallel jobs at the same time, you will also run into a situation where Kubernetes can't schedule all the pods and which will cause uh, a queue to be uh, created. So your jobs won't run in parallel, but they will be put into some kind of sequence. But then the sequence uh, of the execution will be uh, more or less determined by the Kubernetes scheduler. This should remind you that uh, the idea of specifying parallelism is, is more like you express in this statement that you tolerate the parallel execution, but it can't be guaranteed unless you ensure that cluster is healthy and has access to sufficient resources. 
So again, this shows um, that the, the way Kubernetes works, it, it'll provide you the ability to express your intent, but you also have to ensure that whatever your Kubernetes cluster is equipped with proper resources. So it's you can't rely on um, on parallel execution, just like you can't rely 100% on that a certain command is uttered against the uh, Kubernetes cluster will be executed successfully. So there's a certain chance of failure um, that you should that you should take in mind uh, take, or have in mind uh, and take it take into consideration if uh, you apply further automation to it. Alrighty. So again, you can look into Well, we don't have these pods anymore. So the pods have been executed successfully. They have been uh, completed. Job has been done. Get jobs. So two completions, two of two. Describe job. So two succeeded two completions, parallelism set to two. So as you can see, the parallelism uh, and the completions is basically the setting in your in your specification here. All right. 